So here we are and we've got the motor just wired up. It's only loosely wired up but there you go and the wire comes all the way along round here and we're going to talk about now is the the end stop re, uh, micro switches and I fitted several one's there and it works off that plate there and the other one's at the back there and it's a funny sort of whippy type one and of course you use what you've got and that works off the back of the same bracket but what I want to talk about is how you wire these up so there's one micro switch and the wire comes along down there and up to this connecting block and then the other micro switch with the end stop and these are industrial quality micro switches and they've got see it clicks but you can continue past so there's there's an element of safety in that and robustness so that one it's the white wire and the white wire goes all the way down there and up to the connecting block so let's just have a look at that block zoom in so what we've got here is both browns that go to each of the separate micro switches are connected together so let's say for instance this cable here is powering and it goes to both mic switches and then the blue yellow is the return from one micro switch and the black is from the other you've got to remember that both micro switches are running in parallel but there is a problem with that in so much as um, if one is off and the other one's on the motor will still run but we use diodes to sort that one out and I've covered this in one of the other trolley solar tracking uh, videos but we'll just show you how to put them in place effectively what happens is this is the neutral or the return from the motor and this is the power to the motor and let's say for instance that's a return from a micro switch and that's power to the motor and you would put a diode across there and you would have to have it the right way round obviously and then you would have a diode also between the other micro switch and there and it would be the other way round so when you make the motor go backwards you turn the polarity round so this which maybe was positive becomes negative and this here that was negative becomes positive so you use these diodes as a switch so effectively one way round a certain micro switch is allowed to be used that's the best way to put it the diode allows power through but when you turn the polarity round for the motor to uh, to um, go backwards that diode then stops the power going through and the other diode lets the power through so I'm just trying to talk this one through let's imagine two micro switches and the boom has gone to the end and one micro switch is off but this one is still on so unless you have a diode on that the motor won't stop so let's see if we can wire it up So you'll notice on those diodes, the one on the right, the silver bar is towards the soldered wire and the one on the left, the silver bar is towards the connecting block. 
so they're soldered out soldered in opposite ways round which is what you want for this system but I'm just pointing this out in case you think the blue wire soldered on the same ends of each diode so let's just come out now and let's give it a go so the battery is connected and it's this micro switch here that's stopping it from running so in the control unit the the uh, the forward and reversing relay at the end of the day changes the polarity so let's just change the polarity round and the motor starts to run and when we get to the end of the travel that micro switch will stop but I'll just let it run so that the other micro switch which you just heard the click now the other micro switch has effectively switched on so without the diodes whatever I do the real the boom will keep going but it doesn't because it's these diodes have acted like a switch I can do anything with that and nothing happens because the diodes blocking it because of the opposite polarity so I've just stopped the motor with this micro switch here and even though the micro switch is switched off we've got a little bit of a bumpy track at that end we need to work that one work on that one even though this is switched off it's going the other way I switch it on switch this off this one doesn't do anything because of the diode and they're only just fairly small power diodes you can find them in all sorts of power supplies and bits and pieces hopefully that makes sense and the wiring's relatively easy and this will stop in a moment so once this is encased in a little box or something and all the wiring's tidied up and what have you then uh, all we've got to this from the control is two wires positive and negative and the polarity swaps round at the end of the day And as you can see this is adjustable here adjustable there and it's adjustable down here I think we can just change the angle of that a bit so it comes square onto this plate but it stops and that's why I like to make lots of just spend a bit more time drilling holes and putting bolts through and then you can just fine-tune it okay let's just have a look at that wiring again the bit at the end and move that out of the way got uh, right that will do we had five connections let's just draw them out one two three four five so there's six connections there okay the first one was DC now we can't say positive or negative because it changes round as you do the forward in reversing so the DC comes in and then it goes to both of the um, the stop relays so we come along here to the relay with the wand on the top and then the other one comes along to the relay with a little arm on the top hopefully that makes sense there we go so then both of these relays the return of them goes back to different connections so this one here let's go from there goes over there to there and then from there it goes to a diode 
and let's put the silver bar at that end and it comes along and goes down to there then the other one comes along to the next connector and it goes to a diode put the silver bar this end and that goes again to that connection then this goes to the motor there's the spindle and the return from the motor goes to there which goes to DC again you can't see whether you can't say whether it's positive or negative because it swaps round so that's the the simple wiring so the reversing relay what's all that about it's covered in page 34 of the book so there's some drawings there but basically although I don't want to discourage you from owning a copy of the book when you have a relay you've got a coil electromagnet and then you have various sets of contacts and normally let's say for instance that's a fixed contact that's a fixed contact and this is a contact that moves between one or the other now normally drawn that wrong but normally that one is touching that one and that would be normally closed and then when the coils energized it moves over to there and disconnects there so this contacts called normally open and that's NC when you energize it it opens and the normally open closes but you can use a relay with two of these sets of contacts on to reverse DC so and as we've said a million times before where you've got a permanent magnet DC motor swap the wires around the motor goes backwards on with the project